This is Jedi Bob Starfighter. It has 305 pieces and retails for $40 in the US of A. I don't know what it retails for in other countries. And the box art is just box art. And the instructions are rendered still like the Technic Space Loader and Captain Rex's Y-Wing Microfighter. And the rendering is growing on me a little bit, but I, I still don't really like it. And really quick, I want to talk about the minifigures. Worst of the three is the Gonk Droid, mainly because it's technically not a minifigure. It's technically like, like, I mean, like, is an astromech droid a minifigure? It's kind of like an astromech droid, but I don't like it because it's just kind of boxy and I don't like the studs on top. Second worst is the Akbar Trooper, which is basically if you put Admiral Akbar's head on a Stormtrooper. Also, I forgot to say, this is from Rebuild the Galaxy, which is a Disney Plus show that will come out sometime. And the reason a lot of people are probably buying this set is Jedi Bob himself. I bought this set because I wanted Jedi Bob. Also, I wanted to review it. He has a brown cape and then he actually has the old hood piece, which the original Jedi Bob had, and Lego has kind of made a new hood piece for Lego, but they they brought back the old one for Jedi Bob. Also, he has two faces, one is smiling and then one is like a frowning face. And now let's actually talk about the set. You can pretty easily fit Jedi Bob in the cockpit, even with his cape on, which is pretty nice, because I, I always hate having to take a minifigure's cape off just to put him like in a cockpit. Jedi Bob looks to be pretty happy in his cockpit. Also, I love all the building techniques for the cockpit. They are awesome. And just in front of the cockpit, there's a little 3x2 storage area to store blue milk and a banana. And sadly, the blue milk is not printed. In fact, nothing's printed. It's all stickers. Wait, quick intermission in a four minute video. You're subscribed, right? Well, if you're not, do it now, please. Also, another thing that I'm a big fan of is the V shape of the whole thing. Kind of almost reminds me of Lightning McQueen with like it because it's a triangle and it looks like it can go really, really fast. Something else that makes it go really fast or would make it really go fast if this was an actual spaceship, but it's not is like the five thrusters engine thrusters that's what i'm calling them all over the build they're they're kind of awesome engine thrusters four and five are kind of underneath the ship so you can't really see them and talking about under the ship the end of the ship is very messy a lot of anti studs not a big fan of that but it's on the bottom of the ship you're not gonna see it unless you purposefully turn it over so just don't turn it over. Also, there are two clips on the underside to hold Jedi Bob's lightsaber. Also, really, really quick, talking about his lightsaber, I feel like it's a lot less clear, and I feel like the like the plastic is more like foggy than it normally is, but I haven't bought a LEGO Star Wars set in a while, so it might just be me. They might have changed it. I don't know. And the missile shooters that I cannot remember the name of them for the life of me uh, are very... Tucked away, under the build, don't take away from the look at all. Also, the actual, like, guns that are just for show look pretty good. Hope that made sense, but there, there are these more things that I don't really know what to call them. Like, engines? Are those engines good? They're, they're pretty cool. Also, the landing gear is absolutely useless. And the last thing that I want to talk about is the price. $40 for this is stupid like ten dollars overpriced thirty dollars yeah that that would be the sweet spot for price but i mean it's forty dollars a lot like captain rex's y-wing people are going to be picking this up for jedi bob so if you're a fan of jedi bob i would probably pick it up i mean if you can find it on sale for like 30 that's even better but i mean 40s kind of a little bit expensive so i think that brings the set down a bit and I give it a 7 out of 10, mainly because of that price. Uh, everything else about this set is pretty good. Minifigures, I guess not great. But also something that I don't think I captured on video is it's very wide. It's a lot wider than I was thinking. Um, so that's, that's about it. It's gonna be it for today. If you're subscribed, see you tomorrow if you watch my videos on the regular. Because I'm putting one page of Rivendell together per subscriber. So... Goodbye.